Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this exercise, we'll learn about setting up a data shortcut folder in Civil 3D. Let's take a look. In this exercise, you'll set up a folder in which to store objects that are referenced through data shortcuts. The data shortcuts folder contains all of the source drawings and data shortcut objects in a project. Access the project management tools in the prospector. But first, open up the Project Management-1 drawing in your Tutorials folder. This drawing contains an existing ground surface, which you can see right here, alignments that represent intersecting road center lines, and parcel objects that represent property boundaries. In the following exercises, you'll create data shortcuts to the surface and alignments in this drawing, and then reference them in a new drawing. Now while you're in Toolspace, go ahead to your Prospector tab and click on the Master View. Now right-click on the Data Shortcuts collection and click Set Working Folder. Now the working folder is the parent folder where you save project folders. For this exercise, you will specify a folder on your hard drive as your working folder. Now in the Set Working Folder dialog box, go ahead and navigate to the Civil 3D Projects folder. Now note the file path up at the top, which is where you can find this folder. Click Select Folder. Now let's create a Data Shortcuts project. Right-click on the Data Shortcuts collection. Now select New Data Shortcuts Project Folder. Now notice the working folder that we're in right now, the one that we selected previously. Now while you're in the New Data Shortcut Folder dialog box, select Use Project Template. Go ahead and select this button under the Project Templates folder. Now go ahead and go up one directory and select the Civil 3D Project Templates folder. Click Select Folder. Now specify the following parameters. Under Name, type in Tutorial Data Shortcuts project. Use the sample project template. Now click OK. Now using Windows Explorer, go ahead and navigate to the Civil 3D Projects folder. Go ahead and double click on the Tutorial Data Shortcuts project. Now what you'll see here is a folder structure that provides separate locations for data shortcuts, source drawings, and other data. You'll save project objects in these folders in the next exercise. This is a typical structure for an Autodesk Civil 3D project. Folders are provided for many of the document types that are typical of a civil engineering project. So that's how you go about setting up a data shortcut folder in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.